Welcome guys. So I believe most of you guys uh watching this video because you want to understand uh how to solve this integration. So I already write down all the notes, so let's go step by step. So idea is that you have a function, right? Basically it's f of uh right. So you have a function, let's say f of r equals to uh, equals to this one. Uh, and then you try to do the uh and you have a vector q dot r and uh so usually uh, to make the computation easier, uh, we will make Q along with the Z axis. And the R is uh, their angle of theta, right? So we can change it into the spherical coordinate. So this term, uh, this I dot QR can be written as IQR cosine theta. So this Q, there's no arrow here, means that the, magne uh, the magnitude of this original vector. Okay, and we know that D omega is the, uh, is the solid angle, so sine theta d theta d phi. Right, so we, we got this. And now it's easier to just make these two uh, separated because there's a R integral. And then we integrate out d phi, right? So we get two pi. So let's make a, so if we integrate d phi, we get two pi. And uh, this is the R integral, this is the sine theta, uh, theta integral, okay? And uh, notice that uh, right, simple mathematics, d cosine theta is minus d sine theta, right? So we can change this as as a negative d cosine theta, right? So this term is the same as this term. Okay, easy to prove. Uh, now, uh, now the, uh, the amazing thing is there's r here, right? So there's a r here, r here. So you can cancel this r. Okay, so cancel this r. So you get the, uh, and then you get theta equals to pi, you get the uh, negative exponential minus IQR because cosine pi is negative one, uh, and the zero is positive, I, so it's the, uh, one. So this one, you get this. Okay, so now uh, separate into two terms, uh, first term, second term. Okay, so, and then remember there's an integration formula that uh, this will equal to one over eight, okay? So this guy, this minus mu plus IQR will give us this. And then this IQ minus mu r will give us this. So finally, you get the two pi, uh, this, this this expression, right? So the final, you just do the simple calculation. Just, uh, yeah, uh, pull out this IQ and uh, combine these two terms. And uh, yeah, finally, you can prove. Uh, just step by step, I already write down all the details. You guys can copy. Finally, you get this. Okay, so this integral uh, showing the uh, uh, green function, like a, uh, I think it's Helmholtz equation, or, or in the high energy theory, people call it Yukawa potential. Right, so basically, you, you if you are a physics physics guy, then you can view this Q as a master. Or actually, I, uh, I think mu or uh, mu is a master. Okay, so basically, you can view this as a, it's the screen cooler potential. Yeah, if you like physics or not, uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Right, but uh, this is the proof. Take a computational uh, detail of how to deal with this integral. Okay, so uh, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, I will see you guys in the next videos.